We are in bankruptcy to try to get through this and to try to minimize the bills. And then a bunch of the audience thinks, well, he's going off air. I'm not going to support. No, it's chapter 11, subchapter 5. All we got to do is have a plan, make it through the plan, and we stay on air indefinitely, and they can't shut us down, and we get our appeals. And I'm not bitching, but I'm going to get to that later, because national headlines, Judge strips Jones of bankruptcy protection in devastating blow to Jones. We took the stay off on the Connecticut and Texas Sandy Hook show trial cases because we're appealing it. We put in the motion. And when you read way down in the Associated Press, it says Jones's lawyers lifted the stay. Alice Jones isn't happy that there's, he's back in the news, uh, specifically regarding this, his attempt at the bankruptcy claims to avoid paying the Sandy Hook families that they got him up on what, $1.5 billion judgment <laughs> they got him on. He's continuing talking about how they're misrepresenting what's going on in court with them blocking or changing, taking away that ability. Let's watch more. Which it's a liberating feeling. I kind of feel good in this fight that I'm gonna get down to the point where I can't buy groceries. That makes me feel actually like I've done my job. I'm actually liking this in a way. I'm Because unlike Fauci, I don't tell lies. You got that? That's my secret. My brain becomes more powerful every day because I've trained myself not to lie to myself, not to lie to my audience, and not to lie in front of God. Do whatever you need to or make the conscious decision that the Democrats couldn't shut us down and the debanking and the deep state, and the censorship couldn't shut us down and all the fake lawsuits couldn't shut us down. But you decided to believe their propaganda because I've not talked to folks on the street and everywhere else. We get the emails and you believe we're going under because the lawyers told you we're going under. The Democrats told you we're going under and, and you've decided some of you to believe that. So we've gotten less support since all of those court cases. Okay, believe them. Believe it. And then it'll make it true. Because it's a self fulfilling prophecy that this show is one of the most important broadcasts in the world for liberty. And it is up to the audience to decide whether we stay on the air or not. But the fact that it's just right there where we're almost where we need to be and we're just almost going to beat these people, it just pisses me off. Alex Jones needs your support in order to keep his grift going and continue to raise enough money to stay on the air. So we need you to not listen to what's going on in the trial and everything situation. Here's what's going on. Houston Judge Christopher Lopez reportedly ended a stay preventing Sandy Hook families from collecting a $1.5 billion judgment against Alex Jones. In a ruling on Monday, Lopez granted an order to lift a stay that was automatically put in place when Jones did file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protections, he lifted that. See, reportedly, they say he lifted that stay. But Alex is saying, no, it was all me. I did that because I wanted to continue to appeal. Here's what John Craven didn't report it and said on Twitter as well. Just in though, Sandy Hook families may proceed with a $1.5 billion in judgments against Alex Jones. A bankruptcy judge just approved an agreement to lift that automatic stay that went to effect when he filed for bankruptcy. And the families, he said, agreed to not pursue collection offers just yet. It's a long part of the process. His uh, attempts to do these different things, pulling one thing, putting one thing in, having bankruptcy happening, uh, try, I'm sorry, filing bankruptcy there, asking for uh, people to continue to buy whatever supplements are on his website and watch his show and give him money. All that in a roundabout way to keep things moving and flowing. The amount of money that he gets paid uh, per week or every other week, we'll get to it in a second because that's part of what he's trying to save as well. But first, I've got an attorney, I've got a legal analyst. Maybe I've got it wrong. Maybe I'm missing it because I wasn't in the proceedings. Alex Jones is telling us one thing, but then the AP apparently and Reuters is telling us something else. Yeah, well, I would definitely go with what AP and Reuters are <laughs> offering. As we know, Alex Jones doesn't have the best record in terms of providing accurate, fair and true information. But yes, it's, it's interesting what this bankruptcy judge is doing. I don't think there's anything off base about it in any way in terms of releasing this stay because generally there is an automatic stay that comes in to place when you file. And so Alex Jones has been able to benefit from that for quite some time. So releasing it is a powerful thing and it seems like it'd be a very accurate and on point move. Right, and I think also in another article I did read, I think it was the Reuters one, where they did say once the the ability to file for bankruptcy to avoid these types of payments is null and void if it's based off of you causing harm to other folks. If the reasons why you have you owe these debtors all this money is because you were ruled against to have been absolutely devastating and detrimental to folks' families and their lives, which 
qualifies here. So it kind of didn't really work out. There's probably other avenues and directions that are making this all happen. But a little bit more because I talked about his salary. Um, his judges, his, sorry, his attorneys are asking the judge to allow him to get this pay raise, a $1.3 million salary. He drew that that amount, that $1.3 million from a free speech systems before its bankruptcy. And his attorney asked the judge to restore his salary at that level at a hearing on Monday as well. Jones has been paid a reduced bi-weekly salary of $20,000 since his company filed for bankruptcy on July 29th. That's just over a third of what he'd been paid before. Roughly 60K, I suppose. That's according to his court filing. We've really got to get back to that level of production to make this a profitable company and to try to pay back our creditors, is what they then said. I'm still trying to figure out if you get to making your 60K every other week to do your show, how does that generate more money for the company to continue to go on? Again, I don't run the business, so I'm not asking that question as a pushback, more of a so if you get paid the three times more than what now you're getting paid on a bi weekly basis. The company makes more money, so then therefore you can make it more solvent, and then you can maybe pay off these families that you lied about and sent your uh, your violent supporters towards to threaten and say they're going to kill and say they're lying about their families and their kids that they lost. How does this work out? I'm missing something again, Asian. I think I am. Yeah, exactly. Especially to be able to take home uh, what many people never even make in their lifetime. And that's what you want is your salary, get out of here. And the thing is, I know he was making about $20,000 a week on a reduced income by way of what the court had allowed him to take. And I understand that he probably still has things he needs to pay and children he needs to take care of. And so he should be provided with whatever salary would help do that, but not so he can live in some life of luxury when he's out here owing people money because of the pain and the harm that he's caused them. Alex Jones does not get a pass and should not get a pass. And so I do hope that Judge Lopez comes up with something just because <laughs> that's what the courts are supposed to do. We're uh, maybe we'll get back to that at some point. Oh, I mean, in some aspects, we're never there.